Hello and welcome to this lecture, where I will briefly introduce Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is an open source search server that is built on Apache Lucene. It uses Lucene as the core search engine, but provides many features that are not part of Lucene. For example, usage of Elasticsearch relies on a comprehensive REST API. Like Lucene, Elasticsearch is written in Java and is therefore cross-platform and will work on many different operating systems. Elasticsearch was designed to be scalable from the beginning, which means that it has a distributed architecture. It's designed to take data from any source and make it searchable. Like I mentioned before, communication with Elasticsearch is done through an HTTP REST API. For instance, consider the example where an employee is fetched by issuing an HTTP request using curl. We'll see plenty of examples of this in this course, so I'm not going to go into the details of this right now. But just know that requests usually follow this pattern that you see on this slide, where the ID is optional. The documents that are stored in Elasticsearch are JSON documents that are schemaless, much like NoSQL databases. This means that you don't have to define fields and their data types before adding data, like is the case for relational databases, for instance. Elasticsearch is open source, but is being developed by Elasticsearch BV, which is a company that provides commercial solutions related to the search engine. Elasticsearch is near real time, meaning that from the point in time that one adds, modifies, or deletes a document, the changes are propagated throughout the entire cluster within one or two seconds. For small clusters, the changes will practically be propagated faster. Because of this distributed and scalable architecture, changes are not immediately available, like in a relational database that runs on a single machine, for instance. Elasticsearch has gotten very popular and hyped in the past few years. Part of its success is because of how easy it is to use compared to its competitors such as Apache Solar, but also because of the comprehensive feature set. Within the enterprise, its success is also much due to the fact that it scales extremely well thanks to its distributed architecture. On this slide, I just wanted to show you that the hype is not without reason because a lot of large organizations make use of Elasticsearch, as you can see on this list of prominent users. This was a quick introduction to Elasticsearch. Now that you have an overall idea of what Elasticsearch is, we'll be moving on to discussing the terminology within Elasticsearch that we will use throughout this course. Thank you for watching.